they're leaving they're getting out they're moving everywhere why are people leaving California okay if I, I get so many people that leave California for Texas and today we're gonna to talk about why hey y'all it's Matt with living in New Braunfels Texas and the new home realty group today we're not even really gonna talk about New Braunfels okay we're gonna talk about why are people leaving California they are just leaving in droves it's unreal I started this channel, you know, I'm a realtor here in New Braunfels. I was a police officer here for nine years. And we just get tons of people that are moving here, right? And so many of the ones that contact me from all the, the contact information below are from California. It's surprising. I mean, just even, just even in the last week or so, I've had four different people reach out that are living in California that want to leave and are ready to leave. And today we're going to talk about those reasons. Okay, one reason why people are leaving California that they tell me is because of the devastating wildfires. They're so sick of all the wildfires that happen in California. Okay, you have to have some forestry, right, for wildfires to be there, and that's great. But why are these wildfires happening? Is it because that, that there's, you know, state policies that prohibit them from, you know, clearing the underbrush? Quite possibly. But they're just tired of it. They happen so much. <sighs> People just keep losing their homes. Their homes burn down, they get destroyed, and they have to rebuild and start over again. I know how that goes. We didn't lose our home in a wildfire. It was a different kind of fire. It was an electrical problem, but it's devastating to lose your home because you lose everything. And there's some people that have lost their homes more than once, and they have to rebuild and buy everything over again, and it's just, it's freaking heartbreaking. And then not just that, if you don't lose your home, you're subjected to you know, mandatory evacuations or the threat of even losing your home. Um, and, and then even if you're not around the wildfires, then you have to deal with all the smoke that comes with it, okay? So that's one reason. People are tired of the, the, you know, some of the natural disasters and the biggest one being the wildfires. And the other could be earthquakes. You know, I've never suffered an earthquake. I've never been through one or anything like that. Some people are like, oh yeah, it's no big deal. But you know, yeah, wildfires, people are just kind of sick of them. And you know, they, while they can't be 100% prevented, they can be reduced. All right, another reason that people are leaving is because of the homeless problem there. There are tons of homeless, I think over 150,000 homeless people in California. Yeah, I read a recent article, there's over 150,000 homeless people in California, and that just blows away any other state. It's, it's just unreal. And they're homeless for different reasons okay you know it's it's i try not to look down on the homeless all right um a lot of them have issues whether it be you know mental health issues uh you know drug addiction drug addiction is not a disease um cancer diabetes stuff like that is but those are some reasons why people are homeless right and maybe we should be a little bit more empathetic to that but whenever you have homeless camps popping up and the government's just allowing them to just camp out and you know along the highways under the bridges and kind of like enabling them and not even giving them another kind of solution um, like maybe using some of the some of the government funds to build more shelters or rehab programs for them but so they just allow it to just to run rampant and like they set up porta potties for them which which great but then they're just gonna be shitting out in the street anyway. I was on another YouTube channel and reading why people are leaving California, okay? And somebody was like, look, I had a two hour layover in Los Angeles. And then just whenever we were flying in, you could see a homeless camp just along the fence line. And then when from the airport, you know, from the airport just in front of it, you know, he said he saw like six or seven people either take a dump or take a leak just out on the sidewalks. San Francisco, there was a poop map, an actual map of where all the human feces were on the sidewalks. And the government almost allows this. It's unreal. But yeah, and they don't feel safe. People don't feel safe because of that, because of the homeless problem that's there. Yeah, I mean, it's just either driving around at night or walking, people jumping in front of their cars, people getting accosted. Um, you know, whatever you've got them that are either, you know, drug addicts or that have mental health issues, they can become dangerous, all right? They're gonna attack people. Uh, either by robbing them, wanting money to buy more drugs, to buy food maybe, um, or because they're 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 crazy, right? They're dangerous, and yeah, they're just I don't know. People can't handle it anymore. 
But yeah, you've got these tent cities and everything that are just popping up in the medians of the highways or along the highways um, or even in the cities. It's just, uh, they're sick of it. All right, third reason why people are leaving California is because of the convenience of working from home. So one of the things that COVID kind of allowed us to do and forced us to do was think outside the box a little bit. And a lot of people started working from home. They're working remotely. And they figured, and they learned, they figured out and they learned, hey, I can do this. I can do this full time. And I don't have to be in California to do it. So, I mean, I've had people that work for like Red Bull that reached out and they're like, hey, I can still keep my job in California and I can live anywhere that I want. You know, I have to keep maintaining these hours and whatnot, but, but yeah. So they're figuring out that they can live anywhere. And if they can live somewhere that's cheaper or that's better and doesn't have these problems such as wildfires and you know out of control you know homeless issues then why not or if maybe they had a desire to live somewhere else or maybe they were in california because of school and they stayed but they had family elsewhere and now they're figuring out hey i can live and work from anywhere so that's what they're doing um yeah and it's nice i mean i've done some remote remote work like my family and i have done some traveling uh recently and yeah, it's kind of different doing remote work, but uh, as a realtor, but yeah, I could. I could still maintain this channel and refer out any kind of leads that I had from clients. So it, it's been kind of nice. Hey, if you're one of those that's thinking about leaving California and moving, honestly, it doesn't have to be New Braunfels, Texas. If it's New Braunfels, Texas, contact me. All that contact information is down below. But if you're looking at moving anywhere else, I have a huge network of agents all over the US that can help you. So if you're needing anything, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'll be able to help you out like we've helped dozens of others. So yeah, being able to work remotely and you know, thanks to COVID for that. Thank you for, you know, the Wuhan lab for, you know, doing that, whatever, whatever your theories are on it. Um, yeah, working remotely, that's a big one for people and why they're leaving California. All right, another reason is people don't feel safe anymore, okay? There's just that, that that loss of security. And it's because of like, say, like we just touched on, you know, the homeless problems and, you know, the violence that occurs with some of these homeless camps. But also, this is infuriating for me coming from a former law enforcement background. When they elect to not prosecute some things such as like minor thefts or you can't stop, you know, people stealing. I see all these videos all the time that are on YouTube and other social medias where you know people just storm into like say a cvs it's not even a bunch maybe like one maybe two but sometimes it's in huge groups and it's nuts they storm into these stores and they just start ransacking it and you know they're running out and it's just stealing a whole bunch of stuff and it's because some california policies that say hey we're not going to prosecute any thefts under a thousand dollars which is unfreaking believable that just pisses me off to no end if i was a business owner in california and somebody started coming and robbing in my store and started taking stuff guess what i don't want to be able to protect myself and protect my property but there's also policies that prevent that hey you can only do so much right no bullshit you're not going to pull that kind of stuff in texas this this literally like i don't know i get i get worked up about this when i see these videos it pisses me off to no end and it should piss you off too if you're in california and you see stuff like that and you're pissed off leave me a comment below and let me know why it's unreal okay and it just it encourages it encourages people to commit these crimes okay because they're not going to get prosecuted there's no consequences for it it's just stupid it's so stupid this is why gavin newsom i always joke that gavin newsom is like my employee of the year for like three or four years running because so many people leave in california call me up and say hey we want to leave because of that idiot hey gavin newsom if you're watching this you're yeah i'm gonna bite my tongue moron anyway um but yeah they they don't feel safe they don't still feel safe walking down the streets they don't feel safe you know going out they don't feel safe in their own homes and their cars because of policies that they either don't prosecute these crimes they let people out on like uh you know just a pr bond for violent crimes and same shit happens again and it's unbelievable it's unbelievable they don't feel safe i feel sorry for those people if you don't feel safe give me a call you know we'll find somewhere where you can feel safer i mean yeah anyway man i need to i need to drink to calm me down like that's just it's stupid 
And some of these people that get let out on these bonds, and it could be for a violent crime. Well, they get let out of they get let out of jail. They're not held in jail because you know they should be because they're a threat to society, and they go out and they commit more crimes, and they kill people. There's people that have been let out on violent crimes, awaiting trial when they know they're violent and they're a threat to society. And guess what? They hurt somebody else and they kill them, whether it's a citizen or a police officer. And it's a police officer just pisses me off to no end too. It's just I don't know. It hurts. It hurts. Okay, another reason people are leaving California because of a housing crisis. There's not enough houses for people to buy. And also, we're going to touch on this a little bit because of the cost of living. But yeah, the home prices in California are just so freaking high. I just recently had a couple that reached out to me. And they're from like uh, like a little bit Southern California, like Marietta, Winchester, Temecula area. I've had so many people from there that have reached out to me and that have moved to Texas. If you're, Especially if you're from there. A lot of people say that the New Braunfels, Texas reminds them of Marietta. And I even told this couple that reached out to me recently about it. And they're like, oh yeah, from the videos, it does, it does. So maybe if you want something that looks like Marietta and, you know, reminds you of home, but doesn't have all the all insane, you know, political policies and whatnot. Yeah, there's that contact information below. Anyway, they're selling their house. Their house is under escrow and they're going to make a ton of money off of it because the housing prices are insane and they wanted to move to New Braunfels. They want to move to Texas because and they're not even going to throw all the money at it. They're like, hey, look, we're going to sell our, our house for X amount, but we want to buy something that's about 50% of what we're selling our house for because we want to buy cash. We want to pay cash for our home and still have money left over to get settled in and be secure. So and others. I mean, I talk about Steven and Christina all the time. They moved to California because, or from California to Texas because they wanted to be homeowners. They wanted to be homeowners so bad, they left their families behind. They were pregnant at the time and they wanted to be homeowners. They wanted to buy a house and they couldn't do it in California. It was too damn expensive, so they did it in Texas. And I, I've seen it. I mean, I've had other clients that, that sold a house that was like between 1,000 and 1,100 square feet. You know, maybe like a three bedroom, one bath with, with a nice yard and everything, but just a small house for like eight or nine hundred thousand dollars in L.A. County. And they moved to Texas and they buy four acres with a house that's twice the size in, you know, for less than six hundred thousand. So, yeah, housing crisis is insane. And plus, there's, you know, another article that I read is that they go by NIMBY, N-I-M-B-Y, not in my backyard. People don't want new construction, new development happening in their backyard because, you know, they'll say, oh, because, you know, we want to, you know, protect the environment, protect the animals that live there and whatnot. No, they just don't want new construction, you know, around them. They don't want it in their backyard. It's kind of like, you know, those same people that are crying like, oh, we need more of this. We need more of that services for this and that. But oh, we don't want it in our backyard. No, no, no. We need more affordable housing. But no, not near us. So, yeah, they they. They kind of want stuff, but they don't want it near them. So yeah, they don't want it in their backyard. And also just like I said, I mean, the price of the houses are just insane. Like the average, I think the article that I read, the average price for a house, average price is $600,000 in California, as opposed to other places like in New Braunfels, in New Braunfels, Texas, the average price for a house is gonna be like between three and four. So, I mean, you're gonna have some that are gonna be about the cheapest you can find, especially for a new construction is gonna be in the high twos. And you can go up to, you know, over a million dollars. But, um, you know, most of them are going to be in that three to four, four fifty range. Um, so your money is going to go further here. But, yeah, they just they can't afford to buy a home there anymore. So, yeah, that same article I read, like in mid 2020, the average uh, rent in California was like twenty eight hundred dollars, twenty eight hundred bucks for rent. That's more than my mortgage. When the national average was at sixteen hundred dollars a month. $2,800 a month for rent. Unreal. Yeah, this is why people are moving to greener pastures. This is why people are not even moving from California. They're escaping California. All right, another reason, and I get this one a lot, and it's because of the political climate. Some have said they feel like political prisoners in their own state. They're tired of all these, you know, left-leaning liberal policies and government overreach. It's in freaking sane. So, and it's, it's some of these that we, we touched on. It's some of these policies of like, oh, we need bail reform 
or you know we we need to empty out some of the prisons and this and that or they're letting people out on you know a pr bond a personal cognizance bond just basically saying oh yeah i'm going to show up in court when they were a violent criminal and they're getting out and committing more crimes god we're going back to that <sighs> anyway yeah these policies and then even like they signed something saying that by 2035 there's not going to be any more like uh gas powered vehicles sold in the state of california the government the state government's telling you what kind of car you can buy in 2035 if you want to buy a diesel or a gas powered vehicle california government's saying no it's all going to be electric vehicles but then guess what else happens the power grid isn't strong enough to even like combat heat waves and you can't even run your ac okay so they think that that hey you can only buy electric vehicles okay but our power grids aren't even powerful enough to give power to what we have right now but yet you're wanting to have everybody with a new car have to be able to plug in their vehicle at their house too <sighs> blows my mind blows my mind some of these policies thank you gavin newsom for giving me so much business i mean you've even got like business owners and celebrities and stuff that that leave california because of political issues like ben shapiro left um Elon Musk and all these other companies that are picking up and leaving Tesla, right? They're gone. And a lot of tech companies are picking up and moving to Texas and they're not going back. And those jobs are leaving too because of some of these political issues that people are having. Thank you, Gavin Newsom, once again. Another reason is rising state taxes, okay? So California has a state income tax. And from another article I read, because I don't live in California, thank God I don't live in California. I live in God's country in Texas, and we don't have a state income tax here. But that article I read saying that, you know, a lot of your state taxes aren't even deductible. There's not a lot of deductions you can take in your state taxes. If that's incorrect, let me know in the comments below. I'd, I'd, I'd love to know, okay? This is like one article that I read about it, but like the marginal state income tax at the time was over 13%. There's only one other state, there's only one other state that has a state income tax that's over 10% and that's in Hawaii. But they also want to raise it that's at over like 13.3 percent they want to raise it to like 17 percent so they just want more of your money so they make some of these more stupid policies right it's just unreal and where's that money going it's not going to help the homeless and then you have a sales tax that's over seven percent and then like 50 cents is that 50 cents per gallon for gas 50 cents per gallon on gas another tax it's they just want more of your money if you're like me, you want to give the government the least amount of money that you have to, right? Because guess what they're going to do? They're going to have $600 toilet seats and there's all this other stupid stuff, all this other stupid funding that they just waste our tax dollars on, right? You're never going to find anything that's going to be, oh, it's government funded. Everything is taxpayer funded because guess where they get their money? They get it from our taxes and they spend it just foolishly. Another thing they want to do with taxes is if you're wanting to leave and they haven't done it yet, so make sure you leave California sooner than later. They want to tax you if you leave. If you sell your house and you leave, they want to have like an escape tax is what we want to call it, right? That's what I'll call it. And on some of these, if like you're rich and old and you decide to sell and pick up and leave California, they want to force you to pay like these, this particular tax for 10 years, even after you left. 10 years after you left, California is still going to want your money. You want to leave California and they're going to punish you for doing it. Some people are like, well, I can't afford to because the state is going to take more of my money if I do that. That is government overreach and that is just insane. Okay, last reason is because of the cost of living. And we've touched on this. We've touched on just a little bit in some of these other points, you know, with the taxes, with, you know, the cost of gas. What's the cost of gas right now? Somebody let me know what the cost of gas is per gallon in your area of California. Let me know where you're watching from too. The housing, the housing costs, you know, are just insane. You have people that want to be homeowners and, you know, they'd rather move somewhere that has a higher property tax, but no state income tax. Um, so they could be homeowners or maybe they want to be homeowners somewhere else. And it's just, it's just the insane cost of living, you know, the increase on the state income taxes, um, the outrageous amount you have to pay for homes there and yeah i mean for what you can buy like for you know say four hundred fifty thousand dollars or so in california maybe just a little bitty maybe in you know a tent and a homeless shelter i don't know you know but you can get you <laughs> get you a nice house in texas 
Um, very nice house. People are leaving, right? Because of just the cost of living. I mean, just everything is high. Um, yeah, let me know what the cost of living is for you. For like, say, a trip to the grocery store, a gallon of milk, um, you know, the gas, your rent, whatever, right? How much you had to pay for your house. Um, yeah, they're just sick of it. And so they're moving anywhere. Hey, look, don't just take it from me and like articles that I've read and whatnot. This is coming from people that have left California. These are some of the comments on a YouTube video that I found of why people are leaving California in record numbers. Quality of life for the average Californian is two out of 10. Excessive filth, crime, awful highway conditions, blight, homelessness, and rampant public drug use and sales is off the charts everywhere across the state. The government takeover was just too much for us with the state literally falling apart we decided to sell our rentals and home and found complete happiness in another state we'll never look back i left the san fernando valley last month due to a recent encroachment of homeless people drugged out roaming the neighborhood streets these people are dangerous peaceful one moment radically violent the next literally attacking anyone they encounter they're shitting on our streets and dropping hypodermic needles oh wow that's sad that's insane they never felt safe walking in the streets in their neighborhood anymore. Every day we have a new problem. It's the new normal. At first we thought it was a crisis. Now we know it's a new normal we have to adapt to. My recommendation to anyone living in California is to get out. Whatever reason you think is best to stay there, there are 10 reasons to leave. Another one, I left four years ago in 2019 after 30 years. No regrets. Cost of living was outrageous, so I can imagine what it is now. And the last one, living in California is like being in jail with a view, just not worth it. If you're thinking about leaving California, moving anywhere, anywhere, I can find you somebody that's going to help you. If you're coming to New Braunfels, Texas, and in this area, then yeah, I can definitely help you. All the contact information is down below. We'll be able to help you out like we've helped dozens of others. Until next time, y'all take care. Stay safe, Californians, and we'll see you in the next video.